Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, EFC fully confined uh, in a blue square uh, ABCD. As you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, triangle uh, EFC has been given to us as uh, 20 centimeters square. And moreover, uh, this segment uh, AF length uh, equal to this segment uh, BF length. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue square ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step since uh, this uh, segment uh, AF length equals to this uh, segment uh, BF length. So therefore if I label this segment length uh, as lowercase a then this segment length is going to be lowercase a as well. So therefore uh, this whole uh, side AB length is going to be A plus A is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, A. And since we are dealing with this uh, blue square ABCD, so all the side lengths are same. So therefore, uh, this side length is going to be 2 times A. This side length is 2 times uh, A. And likewise, uh, this side is uh, 2 times A as well. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, uh, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. So therefore, even this triangle uh, EAF, if I label this angle uh, alpha, and we know this is our 90 degrees uh, angle since we are dealing with the blue square. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And we know this is our 90 degrees angle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha. And once again, we know that this angle is a 90 degrees angle since we are dealing with this uh, blue square. So therefore, in this uh, triangle uh, FBC, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. So therefore, we conclude that these uh, two right triangles, uh, the right triangle EF, uh, and the other right triangle uh, FBC are our similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. And here we can see this is our right triangle uh, EAF and this is our uh, right triangle uh, FBC. And since these two triangles are uh, similar, so we are going to have a proportion. In other words, the ratio of the side lengths uh, CF and EF must be equal to the ratio of the side lengths BC and AF. And now let's make an observation. We know our uh, this uh, BC whole uh, side length is uh, 2 times A. So therefore, I'm going to replace this uh, BC with uh, 2 times uh, A. And likewise, uh, this side uh, AF length uh, is lowercase a. So I'm going to substitute uh, that one with a lowercase a. As you can see in this uh, next step. And here we can see A and A cancels out. So therefore, uh, this right hand side uh, has been simplified to 2 divided by A. And now let's make an observation. We can see the ratio of these uh, two side lengths uh, is equal to the ratio of 2 and 1. So therefore, uh, we conclude uh, that uh, our uh, this uh, CF uh, length is going to be equal to 2 times some constant uh, k and uh, this EF uh, length uh, is going to be equal to 1 times uh, some constant uh, k as well. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this constant uh, k. So thus we can see our uh, this uh, FC length uh, is uh, 2 times uh, k and this uh, EF length is uh, 1 times some constant k. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EFC. We know the area of this triangle has been given to us as uh, 20 centimeter square. 
And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, base times the height of the triangle. And in our case, uh, the base of this triangle is uh, k and the height of this triangle is 2 times uh, k. So we are going to fill in the blank. So we know the area of this triangle is uh, 20 is going to be equal to a half uh, times our base is 1k times our height is 2 times k and here we can see this 2 and 1 divided by 2 they are gone so therefore we could see that our k square value simply turns out to be equal to 20 so thus our k square value turns out to be 20 and now we are going to focus uh, on this whole uh, blue square uh, a b c d and since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, blue square and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is always equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and in our case uh, the side length of the square is 2 times a so therefore uh, this blue square area is going to be 2 times uh, a whole square and uh, that is going to be same as writing 4 times uh, a square so therefore uh, the blue square area is going to be 4 times uh, a square and now our task is to find the value of uh, a square before we could calculate uh, the area of this uh, blue square a b c d and now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, f b c and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here is our uh, Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is 2 times k whereas our two other legs are uh, lowercase a and 2 times uh, a let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we are going to write down a square plus uh, 2 times uh, a whole square equals to 2 times k whole square let's simplify we're going to write down a square plus 4 times a square equal to 4 times k square so we are ended up with 5 times a square equals to 4 times k square and we know our k square value is 20 so therefore I'm going to replace k square value with 20 over here so therefore we are ended up with 5 times a square equals to 4 times 20 or simply 5 times a square equals to 80 and now I'm going to divide both sides by 5 to isolate a square so therefore our a square value simply turns out to be 16 so thus our a square value turns out to be 16 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this blue square abcd and now let's recall the blue square area equals to 4 times the a square and we know our a square value is 16 so therefore I'm going to replace this a square with the 16 over here so therefore we could write uh, 4 times uh, 16 and that is going to be equal to 64 centimeter square the area of this blue square ABCD so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this blue square ABCD turns out to be 64 centimeter square and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.